<sighs> so I figured, well, if, rather than start something else up tonight, um, just play some Xbox Live Indie games. Uh, if you're not familiar with Xbox Live Indie games, uh, it was like a service on Xbox Live that kind of was alongside the XBLA, so the Xbox Live Arcade, where people could basically post stuff without actually going through any sort of certification or anything like that. Uh, it died a few years ago, and I don't know volume-wise how this is going to be, so hopefully I'll have to open up the stream so I can hear it. Um, but they are they're typically one dollar, although I think I think later on down the line they they let people charge more than a dollar. But typically, super cheap games that were super janky, usually made by one person, and usually not very good. That's not to say they were all not very good. Um, but, um, I'm going to guess most of these are going to be pretty garbage. <laughs> this is the real answer. Um, I have played a little bit of these. Um, I did a video on the undead syndrome a while ago, which is like a, um, let me pull this up. Where is this? It was like a uh, uh, weird survival uh, horror game. Oh gosh, this is very loud for me. Let me uh, lower this real quick. So I'm gonna reduce the game audio here real quick. Uh, but these are all very low budget and uh, And they show. <laughs> All right. So this is like a weird. It's it's kind of like a tank control kind of thing. So basically, if I want to move forward, I have to use both the up and uh, I have to push both analog sticks up to go forward, both down to go back, and then you know, one up and one down to do left right. Basically, controls like a tank. Um, and I think they're all pretty, pretty basic stages. There we go. There's some actual things. And uh, they're all using pretty... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> pretty primitive graphics. Um, this plays fine, though, I will say. Like, cons we'll see some other... Ow. Some other... Um... hard to talk playing this one. Um, let me close this. It's also hard to talk because I'm hearing myself right now. <laughs> there we go. Um, but we'll, we'll see some uh, other games that maybe don't play as well in here. Um, some more from this developer even. So There we go. Level clear. We did it. We'll probably not beat any of these games. Probably just kind of jump through a bunch of these. Um, but I would, I would call all these games uh, functional. Do I want that? I do kind of want that. Yeah, I did want that. Um, they, they have a graphic style that that works given their budget. Um, but yeah, most of these games, uh, I don't think you can buy... I mean, you can't buy any of the Xbox Live Indie games anymore, for sure. Um, I think this developer went out of their way to port everything they had to PC. Um, so if you go to, like, DL site or something like that, which is... I should I should note, DL site has erotic content on it, so don't go there <laughs> thinking, like, oh, like, <laughs> like, nice place to buy video games. Uh, but it is a place where you can buy Dojin, Dojin games, and, and this included would be on there. Because uh, it's just like a bunch of cheap, um, cheap games. Well, it's actually on DL site, it's actually pretty pricey. Uh, a lot of the DL site stuff, site stuff is like sold kind of at a premium. And so the Xbox Live Indie stuff um, was a nice way to get this stuff cheap for a while. Because um, typically, I think this game would probably cost closer to like $5 on there. 
But like these bullets are really hard to read. It's like it's like hard to tell what's flying over you and what's what's actually on the ground with you. And like like this this ground texture is not particularly uh great at oh gosh at distinguishing itself from these little flashing bullets because I guess the problem is that the the bullets are. Dang it. I'm dead. Rest in peace. Also, I liked how I could continue to move after I um after I died. Uh, but the bullets are not particularly like they don't particularly stand out. Let me see if I can actually exit this game. I am not super familiar with the Xbox 360's interface, so whenever I try to do anything in this, it is kind of a nightmare. Okay, there we go. We did it. This is on 360. Yeah, I'm using the wrong stream layout. I'm sorry. There we go. 16 by 9. Fixed it. <laughs> it's okay. You didn't miss much by only seeing par partial screen. But yeah, I don't have an Xbox One at this point. Um, which is interesting. So I noticed that on this screen, none of these load their, t their actual like titles until you open the disk drive. And for some reason, that loads them. I'm not sure why it does that. Uh, then we got a bunch of anime game stuff. This one actually seemed okay. Like It's a Castlevania kind of clone. I played maybe like three minutes of this. Most of these I haven't played. I, I literally just went down like a list and looked at all the games and basically bought anime, anything that looked like anime and anything that looked like an actual video game. Cause there's a lot of just junk on this store. Like, like I realized this kind of looks like junk, but there was like even more junkish stuff. I'm not going to read any of this. Um, go through I, I went through this tutorial already, so basically some basic attacks here. And some basic movement options. Uh, X to shoot. Oh, pull down X to shoot. There we go. I never figured out how to do this dash jump. Like, it looks like you're supposed to press the arrow and then press B and A at the same time. But, like, it's it never worked for me. And, like, you can't dash then jump, as far as I can tell. Like, I don't know if you can, like, dash or... Yeah, I don't know. Like, that, that button combination doesn't seem to do anything. So... Oh, that, I was supposed to use lightness is what I was supposed to do, which is this one. And then that brings out an umbrella. Yeah, there we go. Moon, moon walk up that staircase. <laughs> um, okay, and it's weird because like you can move around on this screen while you're controlling the menu. It's a bizarre thing. I'm gonna guess most of the game looks like this. Nope, didn't make it. Oop. I don't know how to get up there. I don't know if I'm killing that thing or just knocking it over. I do like that if you jump, you just keep facing the other direction. <laughs> All right, can I take your stuff? Nope, he just gets back up. Oh boy. Alright, well. There's something up there. <laughs> oh my gosh, please. <laughs> You know what the goal is here? Stand. Oh, is, is that telling me to stomp? Is what that's telling me to do? Okay. Alright, we got a key. I guess the goal is to get the key. I don't really know, like, I don't know 
how worth those coins are to get. Like, I don't know the purpose of them. I guess it's to buy stuff. I think there was a shop listing on the menu that did it. Let's see. Oh, those are spikes. <laughs> Alright, so... There's a chest down there, but I don't see a way to... Nope! Nope! Well, I tried. <laughs> All the way back to the start level. Okay, let's not do that again. Oh, I made it up this time. Let's just go through this real quick. Ow. And you think, like, in a game that kind of feels like Castlevania, the fire, the, the lamps would be like, you kick them to get items, but no, they just hurt you. No, I made the mistake. I shouldn't have gone for it. Alright. Let's get out of here so we can actually... Oh, dang it! I forgot about the flames. Jesus. <laughs> I am just ruining myself. Don't step on the spikes this time, and let's just ignore the cheddar chest. It's weird that, like, the coin layout is, like, or, like... It's weird that, like, everything's raised up on this screen. Versus, like, centered on the top to bottom. Alright, let's... No tech. No story. Let's see if level two looks exactly the same. Uh, treasure? Okay, I need a hundred coins to... I like that the yes option is there. It's just... <laughs> it's just not technically there, even though you can highlight it. All right. Let's see what level two looks like. Oh, it's just like this. I'm gonna guess the whole game looks like this. Okay. It's probably enough of that. I really haven't used my 360 much for anything, to be honest. I've had it for a few years now, but I've, 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 I don't even know if I've played any like disc retail games on there. I may have only played digital download stuff. Um, Star Runner. Is this a puzzle game? This one might be a puzzle game. Action Love. I like this is horrendously stretched. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what do we got going on here? Map view? Okay. Oh, this is a tutorial. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay, you rotate. Gotcha. Alright. We'll just play it. Figure it out. Question is, what do you press to rotate? Let's pause. Triggers? Maybe I should have kept watching the tutorial. Figure out how to actually rotate the world. Oh, do I just push the wall? Oh, okay. Interesting. And so the green spots are the open areas. Oh, but there's platforms too. I can jump through. Okay. Well, that still doesn't help me too much. Oh, okay. And I can jump and jump and hit walls. Alright. So how the heck do I, how the heck do I get out of here then? is will I be crushed by these boxes? I assume the answer is yes. I also don't know like where I'm trying to get to. Okay, there's more hearts over there. Just 
Oh, you know what? I guess I have to twist the world in a specific way. Sure. Oh, and pressing up makes you jump, which is awful. <laughs> this is an awful way to... Oops. Okay. Oh, I can push blocks too. Okay. I'm gonna die. Oh, okay. I'm fine. That being said, I think I might be trapped. I don't think there's a way I can turn this and get out. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Let me make sure that I didn't... For some reason, I think I accidentally started on the final stage of the game. Hey Anthony, how's it going? We finished Tales of the Tempest, you missed it. It was... as average as I expected it to be. <laughs> so now, to celebrate, we're playing... budget, budget video games. <laughs> Push. So can I actually push this, or is it just making a noise when I touch it? Oh, I need to put a block on it. Okay. Easy. Anthony, did you work today, Anthony? Yay! Oh, there's so much text on this screen. So I can't jump up here. Can I jump and push that? No. Can I move this block at all? I mean, it feels like no matter what position this is in, like the I ultimately can't push it because the platform is in the way. Well, I can do this at least. Oh, there's only one more. Okay. Easy. Oh, secret item yet. I guess I'm building a cake? Is that what's happening here? Oh no, the bottom platform blocks me too. Uh, oh, here we go. Oops. And can I get the other one? Definitely can't get the rest though. It's really annoying that jump is on up because I'm like trying to just move and it's in the way. There you go. Easy enough. Alright, Mark, have a good night. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, did you just start class, Anthony? I can't remember. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess. There we go. Okay, got it. Like, ultimately, oh, you know what? I want to, I do want to put it in there. That's where I want it to be. So, if I do that, I can slide this here. But, I mean, as soon as I flip this, it's going to, it's going to move. this briefly. Okay, now it's in there. And now if I flip this, put that there, if I do this, this, the back. There we go. And then I need to... Is it this way? Ah! <laughs> Like, for, for being stage two or three, this is uh, surprisingly complicated. Yeah, I, I asked if he started classes. I know, like, everyone on, like, I know that's doing school stuff is, is like, in some phase of back-to-school-ness. Oh, I'm surprised school doesn't have, like, a more consistent, um, um like, calendar. It always seems like completely random when people are going to be in and out of school. Alright. Alright. Turn. Okay, I think we got enough ledge there. So yeah, there we go. Okay, that game's pretty neat. the disk drive so I can see the actual titles of the games. <laughs> oh, so what a weird thing. Um, let's see what we got. Anthony? Anthony, are you here, boy, or are you only kind of here? <laughs> Do you want to choose a game? <laughs> Let me see if I can get the rest of these uh, to show up. There we go. Oh, yeah. We got some, some booby there. No Undead Syndrome. I've made a video about the Undead Syndrome. We don't need to cover that. I kind of like the look of this one. Like, it looks like somebody just, like, scribbled on on some paper. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try the scribble one. If you, if, you, if you get around here long enough that we can, uh let you choose i will i will let you choose a game <laughs> that being said it's like choosing between anime one and anime one and anime one i was gonna let you choose a game if you wanted to um i haven't played most of these so i have no idea what these are for the most part despite spending like a hundred something dollars on all of these Let's go Gunbade. Uh, is that the one I just selected? Action Love. I might be able to tell on this title screen. Alpha Secret Base. That says Gunbade on it. 
know that much. I think, let me know if this is the one you were talking about. I think this is the one, though. I wonder if this is going to be a very similar game as the last one. It's the same developer. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh... Alright. What's going on here? We got a... Oh, it's kind of like a Numi Hara Kawase kind of thing. A little bit. It's 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 pretty janky. But it is also collect the stuff. It's uh, very clearly... <laughs> it's very limited in how you can move, but... Uh... It's pretty much the same game with a different mechanic, it looks like. But yeah, it's like you basically clip on, and I can't really like extend or go away, but I can kind of just roll, like stick to this, this length. So if, like the further out I am, probably the further out I, I'll stay. And I can jump off that too, it looks like. Oops, rest in peace. This music is so grady. <laughs> I will say for one dollar, these games are pretty alright. I assume I spent one dollar for them. That seems like the right price for these. <laughs> I wonder if this person put their games on anything else? Oh. I mean, that makes sense, given, like, what you're supposed to do there. It's kind of neat that you, like, can grab the ground and, like, jump out from there. Oops. Oh. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There's also just something, like... As neat as this is, it's just so janky that it's, like, really... Really silly to like. What are these even supposed to be? The fives? Like it's 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 kind of like so simple that it, it's just kind of goofy, and like how much thought was put into like a simple mechanic of the game. I guess I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying garbage in my mouth. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh, it. It's at least a much easier gimmick than the last game that they made. Well, the last game that I played that they made, I have no idea what order these came out. Oh, that was it. Okay. Part of me wants to see more of this to see like how much more complicated it gets, but then I also am like, I feel like we've seen the gimmick of this game. So like, I don't really feel a huge need to keep going at the same time. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Nope, nope. So, I mean, the thing is, I can just, like, this. Oh, I could have grabbed the ceiling there, too. I guess I just question, like, how much depth this really has, compared to the other one, which got immensely complicated very quickly. Like, because there's not, like, a physics to this grapple hook or whatever, like an Umihara Kawase, it doesn't feel like there's a lot they can do with this. I guess technically, yeah, you can grab onto spike blocks and not 
get hurt. Stage one. Let's get to stage 10 and then we'll, we'll switch to something else. Alright, here's. Like, I think this is the first stage where this. I think water is bad. Nope. Oh, actually, it's not bad. I thought it was bad. I feel like I felt like I fell in water earlier and died, so... Oh, that's convenient. I do like this music, though. And it's interesting, if you go to, like, DL site and, like go to their music section, there's just like a bunch of royalty-free music intended for games like this. I wonder if I even have any of these games on Backlog right now I think about it. Ooh, boy. I can't move this disc without moving, so like trying to face myself the other way. Oops, I forgot the other thing. Uh, fi trying to face myself the other way while I'm um, in that really tight sp spike spot. It's surprisingly hard. Oh, come on. Okay. I don't think the. Oh, I guess that's the intention is to just grapple down. I guess you could press up and down though. Like if like if I wanted to face right without actually turning, I could just press down and up to, to move it. So I might I might play through this one. This one seems like super chill and easy to do and just get through. And I'm gonna guess it's like 50 stages as well. This seems like a one to just like sit down for an hour and just play through if if even an hour. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, I like that Red Dead Redemption Two is essentially Gunsmoke Four. Um, up, oh, take the disc drive out. All right. Um, shooting chicken. Is that the same game? Yeah, it looks like it. Or same series. Jewel Master. Let's try Green Island. Hopefully we don't get the same developer again. <laughs> it's the same developer. <laughs> Action Love at Alpha Secret Base. Alright. Let's see what the gimmick of this one is. We have a story apparently. This one looks pretty different at least. Oh, is this just like, um... I like how the concepts of all these games are just exactly the same. Can I just jump through that? Oh, easy. Well... As... I like that these games all have different mechanics, but the, the general goal being exactly the same every time is a little, uh... Oh, I can put a bubble here. So... I assume I'd want to... Try to ride a bubble? Or, oh, I can just keep doing this. Platform my way up. Gotcha. Alright, well, we won't spend a lot of time on that since it's also the same developer. 
Hopefully I didn't just buy like 30 games by the same person. <laughs> All right. Oh, they loaded that time. Three of them at least. What do we got here? I think Breath of Death is a Western developer. I can't remember for sure. I think it's supposed to be a like a Dragon Quest kind of parody game. So I don't know how long this thing is. Hello. I think I think the whole point is that you're like the monsters and stuff in this game. Let's skip this cutscene. I remember this game being pretty popular when it came out. Press the A button. Okay, strength, magic, agility, vitality. For like the aesthetic of this game, this music does not is not very like eight bit chip tuny. Uh, multi strike. Twenty five damage for one hit on a regular attack. It's interesting that they show you. Well, I guess is that the damage or just the power? Twenty two damage. Okay. I wonder if it's like a set amount of damage, so it's like twenty five damage, but the del or the defense of an enemy would vary it. I guess. Yeah, I did 22 again. So the question is, do I do 22 every time? And it looks like that's the case. So if I do death blow. Fireball or flurry. Let's do flurry. It's interesting that like most of the game is like really blurry. But when you get to these parts, it's very crisp <laughs> with its uh, sprite art. Four potions. Okay. Interesting. So did I level up my multi-strikes what happened? I feel like I got like a three hit move, but apparently not. And then how much does death blow do? Combo boost and break. I'm not sure how long this thing is. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can run. There we go. Oops, okay. Bought, bought the thing on accident. Oh, 
cosas? Well, I get the feeling that I know what the majority of this game's gonna be already. I might I might sit down and play this though. Like if this is short enough, I might look up how long it is, but if it's like a couple hours or something, like that might be what I need out of a game like this. <laughs> like I think always the problem with like playing a Dragon Quest game is you're getting into it and it's like I know this game is going to be very basic combat and like mechanics and it's going to be like 70 hours of this okay we got we got a character not sure all of this yay oh it's gonna be like 70 hours of this kind of thing versus this is like you know five to ten hours if if not less than that then Oh, it's Fire Flurry. That's what I got. Okay. So, do any of these attack multi? These all are single target. So, let's do that. It's a heal. Research plus 50 magic, but she has no magic. <laughs> so, I guess she'll just snack something. Okay. I think, I think it's probably all we need to see of this right now. It's interesting though. I like how like because you move in squares, if you press start at the beginning of moving a square, you just keep moving. <laughs> All right. That title screen. Okay. What time is it? Nine. Oh, let's see what else we got here. Take that disc drive out. Let's go Star Runner. I actually don't remember anything about this. I think I paid about $1 each, but I think some of them were slightly more expensive. We can we can do the math on the minimum number that I bought. Uh, play for fun. Escape Sonics. Oh, okay. Just... Oh, the skateboard hit me? I escaped the zombies. <laughs> oh, jump on pedestrians. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Poor dog. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm doing poorly, yet the zombies are... Oh, I busted through the window. But like when I land on them, it doesn't seem like it... Like unless I'm just not landing on them well. jump over him. Like, that seems like the smart thing to do, but I'm not getting any points. But I'm not getting minus points at this either. And, like, the, the, like, I don't really understand what this is right there. Like, visually, I don't know what that is. It's 
It's weird that it says jump on pedestrians though when jumping on them seems to clearly be not what you want to do. But like, I also don't really know what you're supposed to do. I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something with that game. Uh, let's say these were a dollar each. I think there were some that were more than a dollar, but in total I bought 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So like 20, 24. And let's say a couple of them were like 3 to $5. So let's say like 30, low 30s maybe. It's not that bad. I did spend a bunch of money on WiiWare though when that, when that went offline. So... All right, let's find out what summer vacation is. How much does poorly drawn anime girl play? Or how does the poorly drawn anime girl play? Oh, look. It's our favorite developer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Collect the stuff again. You know, there's this series of games on PlayStation Mobile called Soul Brain, which are very much like scams where you just collect the stuff. But at least these, maybe not so much this one, but at least the other ones, uh, <laughs> feel like they have, uh, some love to it at least. <laughs> Alright. I've played this before, God, I'm remembering it because that happens, yeah. So I think the issue is I need to get this one, push this up, and then I think I need a, I think that little wiper gets rid of some of the ice. Uh, no, I don't want it to do it there, dang it. <laughs> I don't want to push it past it there either. Okay, there we go. So I think I can take this and then get rid of this. If I can figure out how to use items. Can I kill him? He just gets very upset <laughs> when I try to push him in. Uh... Well, I'm pretty sure I... Oh, maybe... Do I break rocks with that? No. Nope, I did break a rock there. Alright, well... Maybe that was L1, I'm not sure. I was just pressing all the buttons. See, Anthony, this is why I don't play Control. There's so many other great video games out there. <laughs> what are you saying about this stuff, Anthony? How in the world did I break that rock? It's weird. I mean, this is kind of like what the Dojin scene stuff typically, like, it doesn't all look like this, but this is not uncommon aesthetically. Maybe this is a bit more, less complicated than some of the stuff you'd see nowadays, but, um, what do I want to do here? Double up there, and then go all the way up here. There we go. We did it. <laughs> but Anthony... What about Gambare game? Whatever it was called. <laughs> uh, shoot. Wait. I messed up. He's gonna kill me. So I don't wanna go to that one first because I can't, I don't have an ice block to escape there. So I'm gonna go to this one. Get that. She has her hair up just like the girl in control does. See? It's the same video game. 
I'm moving blocks. It's just like control. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like how angry <laughs> those those crafts get. <gasps> Got a shovel. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm gonna put this down in this hole, I assume. Alright, easy enough. Oh, gotcha. Oh, so I can only use items if I'm not pressing the D-pad and I also press the A button. Very good programming. Right. Don't want you. I don't want you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, well. That's enough of that. I'm a little disappointed that I bought so many games from this single person. But I guess that's what happened when you're like, oh, that looks like an anime video game. <laughs> I assume that's the same person. Like, menu-wise, it looks very similar. Um, let's try... I think Jewelry Master... Master. So, Arika's an actual publisher in this case. I don't know what if they're doing anything these days, but these were actual game publisher. Um, I'm surprised they bothered to put anything else on this platform. Sure. Save it to my hard drive. Screensaver. <laughs> All right. I don't know why you need a screensaver for your Xbox 360, but here it is. <laughs> Maybe it was a PC game originally and had screensavers in it. All right. Uh, normal, hard, another. I have no idea how this works. Maybe you should have played the tutorial. Okay, turned yellow. Turned silver. <laughs> um, I am kind of at a loss, actually. Like, what the goal of this is. Oh, that's a block. Um, I didn't realize that. Well, I thought maybe could like complete. Oh, I didn't complete a line though. Uh, let's see this. Okay, so that. this. Oh, whoops, I didn't want to do that. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's do this. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Something happened. Are we, so are we completing lines? Is that what this is? So completing lines is a part of it. And so maybe you combo. Like if if these these gems are touching a completed line, they all shatter. Is maybe what's happening here? So I assume the goal is to Oh boy, I didn't want to do that.
I'm terrible at this. Okay. I don't know what caused that to happen. Anthony, it's a surprise we go to the same university, so how are you doing? <laughs> Alright. This is interesting. I think I'd have to actually learn what what's going on in this game first. I don't really know what's happening. It took me a while to figure out how the Tales of the Fandom uh, puzzle game was working. Um, but like once you figure it out, it's actually... <laughs> that you go to the same university. Um, let's see, what do we got? What in the world is Date the Boss? This looks awful. I probably bought it because it looked awful. I'm gonna guess. Xbox.com slash abuse. Okay. <laughs> oh, is this like a visual novel? adventure game boy boy oh boy let's play a different game I don't want to play an adventure game in the last 15 minutes of the stream let alone one that is uh looks kind of scandalous I'm sure there's nothing bad about it I mean it's a title on like it the Xbox 360 so you're not gonna have anything that's lewd at least not to an extent that would be problematic, but that is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure why I bought that. I'm guessing probably because it looked bad, though. Also, maybe this screen is not broken, which would be sad. Let me try open the disk drive again. Yeah. I don't know what it is about this screen and the disk drive. There we go. Cause I, I've definitely left it here before and kind of did nothing with it. And um, it, it just never loaded anything. But as soon as I open the disk drive, it's like, yes. I forget, is there a way to lock on? I've played a little bit of this in the past. Anthony, if you're at university, you can be making these games. So I think the difference is, is like, with this, because there's actually two of these games. There's one where you play as the guy and one where you play as the lady. And I think the lady faces wherever she shoots. And I think the guy has, like, um, like twin stick shooting elements. Too. I could be wrong about that. They could be exactly the same, just different character models. Anthony, if you made an indie game, how would you want it to look? What kind of art style would you go for? Would it look like this? <laughs> or would it look like... An anime game? Or do you do, would you be would you do pixel art like everybody else does because that's the only easy way to make a game look good without spending way too much money oh okay. let's go to the gate um, I mean, this is pretty much... <laughs> Jeez, her face. This is pretty much just like a, you know, eight-way direction on a D-pad, so... You know, it feels about how how it looks like it'd play. So, you know, like, I can't shoot between these corners, and because the Xbox 360's D-pad is kind of awful, like, 
getting an angle is not always the easiest thing. This is playable, I'll say. Sp Sprite-based PSO. I'm trying to think if there's anything like that, actually. I feel like the Shining Force series is kind of like that play style a little bit. The, uh, the Game Boy Advance ones. Because there's sh the Shining series is like the RPG game. And then there's Shining Force, which I think is kind of like action adventure. The jump is bad, yeah. It doesn't feel... It looks worse than it feels, but basically the thing you have to expect is just slowing down and then stopping. Um, but I think generally I, I have enough confidence that I'm supposed to be jumping in places, so it's not that hard to trust it. Like right here, it looks a little weird, but I know if I go for it, I'm going to make it. Oh, I died. Yeah, I was just trying to think of like a game that plays like that. I assume like like it'd be top down or isometric, right? Because honestly, you couldn't make like a well, you could make a 3D game with 2D sprites if you wanted to. That would be interesting. That and you well, I guess PSO doesn't really have a lot of customization, does it? Are you just saying you'd make whatever, but you're using PSO's art? You're not actually making a PSO style game in sprites. Oh boy. Alright. I don't know what that is. I'm missing a crystal though, I think is the problem. That's the gate. Alright. You want to see which game actually plays like shit on here, Anthony. Um, let me show you the other game by this developer, which is like a third person shooter. I have like five games by Mukugaku Software. Uh, Bio Erosion is what it's called. This looks real rough. This one probably like, out of all the games that I've played by this guy, is probably the least playable. Probably because it's so comp- like, it's not complicated, but it is trying to be a third person shooter in an engine that very much cannot be a third person shooter. Can I invert the controls? Yeah, no, I can't. I was expecting too much from this game. Okay, and then L, L is a spread shot. R1 is shooting. We have like a heat gauge in the bottom right hand corner. And I think the point of this is to hunt down these guys. I could be wrong about that, but... No, maybe it's just the orbs. Yeah, there we go. There's the orb. I basically bought all these games to do research for the Undead Syndrome is what I did. Um, well, these ones in particular that are like the really crappy looking 3D ones. They're all by the same person. And they all pretty much play like this. Well, again, this would be probably the worst of the, the bunch. Ah. Oh no, I overheated. Let's see if we get this health. <laughs> I'm not even like a fifth of the way through the level yet, or I think I've, I've destroyed one of them. I'm out of energy. There's no like run either, so. Bro, maybe that's. I guess that might be a run, so if you jump, you run, so maybe that's the better way to move in this game. Just jump first. Learning the movement tech of this game. 
I'm ready to speed run fire your right. Yeah, that seems like the way to move actually. You move like almost double the speed. I think, I think I can as long as I jump and, and run. Because I think when I'm jumping and running, I can outrun them. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got going on in here. What other trash did I buy? Hochi play? Let's find out what Hochi play is. It's sad though, Anthony. I think this is literally like the only thing I've ever used my 360 for is these Xbox Live Indie games. I don't know if I've ever played anything else on it other than briefly playing Panzer Dragoon Orta because my Xbox, my original Xbox didn't, um, didn't, uh, oh, they had like a, uh, a, a what's it called? CD. That's interesting. I also traded my copy of, uh, Idol Master and, uh, it is unfortunately not region free, so I'd have to find a way around that. I'm 56 year old and have a family. Work for an IT company. Bunch of Japanese. We got Misaki. What? Oh. What did I do? Take the finger off the button. Oh, you have to get closer while she's not looking? Okay. basically creeper of the game is what this is. Ah! Is my timer resetting every time or no it's not? actually really hard I guess like I think looking at her actually doesn't help I think it's um you have to look at the text of the on the screen so I think it'll tell you take the finger off the button before she turns around yeah it does
Ah, I pressed it too early. <laughs> it takes so long to get across this goddamn couch. <laughs> I forgot I can continue to drink when she's looking at me. Whoops. The only one available to me? Alright. <laughs> Just get out of here. We'll do one more and we'll end it on something else. <laughs> I'm a 50 year, 56 year old IT worker, Anthony. That's the kind of creep I am. And I want to be a masochist. Did we play. Did we play this? Oops. Oh, did it not work? Hopefully it's not just broken. There it goes. Ah, it's these guys again. Let's let's not play this. Let me see what it looks like and then Okay, this <laughs> This kind of looks like <laughs> the grabby arm and the other thing. At least this plays differently. I don't really know what the goal of this is. I guess to hit things, throw stuff. This is kind of weird, actually. It's actually kind of interesting. I'm gonna stick around on this one, actually. I don't know if those explosions hurt me. Mini explosions. This is next boss. Should I be playing this with the analog stick? So there are bullets that's happening. I don't know what these red boxes are. I don't know what the red boxes are. I mean, that definitely makes it, if, if they're bad, that definitely makes it a lot easier to read, like, what's actually bad on screen, because it's difficult to tell, like, what in the world's going on at all. <laughs> As long as I shoot something in some direction, it's fine. Then everything just explodes and it's, life is okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I can grab the bullets too. Yeah. Alright. I don't really know what the goal is per se though. Like, I'm, I'm getting points, I assume.
Oh, ow, I'm flashing. It's probably not good. I died. That's a weird one. I'm glad that game is so different than all the other ones by this developer. Oh, weird. You can change the volume by hitting the triggers. Gonna do it for me. Sorry, I'm so out of it tonight. I am beat from work. Also, we beat probably one of the most non consequential JRPGs of all time. <laughs> Not that it's bad. Again, Tales of Tempest is a perfectly fine game. Uh, it is. It is not terrible. I think I would have been plenty happy with it on the DS if I got it back then, because the DS didn't have a ton of JRPGs at that time. So. It's not like you had Final Fantasy... Well, I guess Final Fantasy 3 was around, but Final Fantasy 3, you know, has its own limitations and things like that. This is more like an action RPG kind of thing. So, so yeah. I think next week we're going to do the Valkyria Chronicles DLC. Um, I don't really know what that's going to entail. But I kind of just want to play Valkyria Chronicles 1 again. But I don't want to play through all of Valkyria Chronicles 1. So I thought the DLC would be a good way to, to do that do something new with Valkyrie Chronicles 1 without replaying all of Valkyrie Chronicles 1. Um, so yeah, otherwise though on the website uh, I have a um, post up for uh, Kishin Zenki for the uh, PCFX, so it's like a 45 minute playthrough of that. And then um, I think there's going to be like a Rhythm Thief quick play next week. I think that's going to happen. And then I think I'm kind of at a point where I'm kind of at a standstill with my Japan trip stuff outside of just like some smaller planning um, where I can't really buy my rail pass yet. And um, I do need to, I do need to figure out like how much money I want to convert to, to take with me. Um, so I got to figure that out, but I don't know like how soon I want to do that and like where I want to go for that. Cause the, the rates are different depending on where you go and stuff. Um, so yeah, I might I might start working on the next like real video soon. Um, we'll see how I feel this weekend. I don't really have anything planned this weekend, but I do want to just kind of chill for some stuff, um, especially with how work's been going this week. So, so yeah. Thanks for coming. Watercontrolreport.com is the website. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you. You guys have a great week. Bye.